Okay, hello everyone. Now this is additional video for chapter 14.1. So hopefully you can uh, watch this video before the class started. Okay, let's start with the uh, 14.1. Okay. So we will learn on functions of several variables. Now we start with function of two variables. Okay, as an example, perhaps you can start with some functions t. Let's say t is a temperature. Temperature on surface of the earth. At any, let's say, at any given time, at any given time, uh, depends on x and y. Okay, so we can write t in terms of a function of x and y. So this is what we call the, this uh, function of two variables. So we can also imagine this in a set of uh, graphs. Let me put the graphs first. If we look on this graph, we can have, we can imagine how the domain of these functions will be. So the domain will be set on this green area. Okay, we have x and also y that we can set into several points and we can know that it will relate to z which is the the range okay okay we can write down the definition Yes, a function of two variables is a rule that assigns of each ordered pair of real numbers x and y in a set of domain unique real number denoted by f x y. The set D is the domain of f and its range is the set of values that f takes on. That is function of x and y or in our case here in on the z axis. Okay. So that's that's our um, uh, introduction. So we can also write this function as z of x and y. So we can set, say that the x and y are independent, whereas z is our dependent variable. If we set, uh, for example, in this example, we have function g is equal okay. okay. If we want to find its domain, we know that this x squared, y squared, okay. We can write down this as g if we squared this when g squared is equal to zero then it's equal nine or we can write down that the xy plane is a circle so we can write down the xy plane like this This is x squared plus y equal 9. Okay. 
Now we will have the the disk centered on zero zero or the origin point and the range or if you want to find the domain first set domain is all x y that is or you can say we start with this okay that's what the domain and the range is our z where z is equal nine Since Z is positive, positive square root, then we have so range is from ze zero to three. Okay. Okay, next is uh, about the graphs. Okay, to visualize the function of two variables. If we look here, if we are considered the D as our domain, the green one, and then from all this point on the on the uh, green area, we can match point by point, okay, like this one, one point here, and then match up to here, and maybe another point maybe here, I can also match up to here. So they will make a surface S, okay? So we can write down that if F is a function of two variables with domain D, then the graph of F is set of all points in the third dimension in the in the space uh, in the space such that z is equal f x y and all the x y is in the domain Okay, if we want to sketch the graph f x y equals six minus three x minus two y, and we can write this in terms of z equal six minus three x minus two y or three x plus two y plus z equal six, which represents a plane. I hope you still remember our, our uh, discussion on chapter twelve. Uh, so this will be the. Um, the plane okay so we can also write down uh, fxy is like ax plus by plus c this is we called linear function okay so if we want to draw this for this function let me check my drawing here oh wait wait Okay, 
that's that's the plane. Okay. And maybe if the other one, if we have another example of g, x, y. It's same. I think this is the same as the previous example. If we draw this from the previous one, we get. That will be our drawing. Okay. So we can write down actually this in terms of this. Okay, so this means that it's a sphere. I hope you still remember that it's also one variation of ellipsoid in chapter 12, but it's having the same uh, constant. Okay. And the radius is 3. Okay. Okay, another way to, uh, to visualize this function of several variables is through what we call the level curves. Or a counter, counter maps. Level curves of a function f of two variables are the curve with equation equal k the k is a constant still in the range of still in range of f okay and uh, collection of level curves is called contour map. And perhaps I will go to uh, give you some uh, descriptions through picture maybe here. Now, if we are going to look on, what does it mean is we now have a different K, meaning that in terms of the level curve, it has different level. Okay, so if we want to draw uh, or trace one by one, we can uh, reflect this height into our uh, two dimensions uh, mapping so we can map all the point and then in the in our in the applications we can look on this map so we know that each line each curve here they represent different different uh, level okay different level So one way we are going to look at is um, the map in which you can know uh, the height of some area or um, we can also use it for uh, temperature or some precipitations that is on some area. It's also similar, they will show up um, some, some layer, different layer, different level. And there will be some graphs from chapter 12, that, especially in the quarter surface, that uh, perhaps it will shows up and appear in chapter 14. So I hope still still familiar with uh, 
some some graphs okay okay like for example this one so this will be our functions of 4x squared plus y squared plus 1 we know that from our discussions this is the elliptic paraboloid okay we have a parabola we have a parabola on both both plane both uh, yz and xz plane but on the xy plane we have a, an ellipse okay and we can see that it's certainly an ellipse if we look on, on the xy plane right from here it's an ellipse this x actually represents different height. Okay. And of course, we are going to see more and more um, complicated graphs if you're using some software. However, we are going to move on to three variables. So let me put some three variables into our notes here. So this will be a function of three or more variables. So we will have an app, okay, uh, that has rule to assign to each order triple x, y, z in domain D that is in 3D space a unique number denoted by f x y z we can also uh, imagine this triple as in k it's like a level surface that we did and for example, if we have this uh, x squared, y squared, z squared, okay, we know that this uh, this equations, let's say, is equal k. So we'll have different different layers. So if you see that, we can look on from two, three, one. They have different different level, different layer, like an onion. If you imagine like an onion, let me move here a bit, maybe better. And then, if we are going to describe another functions that will be in terms of x squared minus y minus z squared can draw this as if we use some uh, some image okay now this will be the family of hyperbolic paraboloid so if you see that from um, from the equation itself, it's certainly giving you vibes that it's um, it has hyperbola. Okay? It says hyperbola from x squared and z squared, and then you can see also the parabola for x squared and y. And y and z squared also parabola. So you will see a saddle that is 
uh, going to have y as the um, the center okay so usually you have a z right like in our discussion on uh, chapter 12.6 where we have y and then uh, these functions will represent its different level okay it's different level so it will be going shifted on y-axis okay okay now that's it for the um the introduction for 14.2 so when we are going to in moving into a classroom we will start from the 14.2 okay so i hope at least you get a sense on where does the um the discussion will going okay we're going forward so yeah okay i hope that will be uh, sufficient for introductions okay